This is not a time for political scoring from any sides of this house. Um, Taunisha, the world is, is watching with huge alarm the shocking events that are unfolding in Ukraine. What we're witnessing is unprecedented in Europe since the Second World War, a full-scale assault and invasion of one state by another. This attack is unprovoked, unjustified, will cause needless death, injury and suffering among the Ukrainian people. As the violence escalates and bombs explode across the Ukraine, there is growing panic among the population as they attempt to flee to safety. Over the last few weeks, Ukrainian citizens living in Ireland have been pleading with the government to allow them to offer a safe place of shelter for their parents and family members. In most European countries, there is no visa requirement for visitors from the Ukraine. This has meant, over the last few weeks, people have been able to take in their parents and offer them somewhere to stay safe to stay to protect them from war. It's no more than any of us would want to do for our parents if they were faced with the same terrifying situation. What they requested was simple and straightforward. They asked that the government would waive the visa requirements so they could take their parents into their homes and provide them with somewhere safe. Irish people living in the Ukraine with family members who are Ukrainian citizens have been unable to get visas for their family members, including for their sons and daughters. This has meant that they've been unable to leave and come home to safety in Ireland. Their lives are now being put at very serious risk. The response from the government to these pleas for assistance was to say that all visa applications would be dealt with as quickly and humanely as possible. But the reality is people have faced huge bureaucratic hurdles, making it extremely difficult to obtain a visa. Being asked to surrender your passport to the Irish Consulate for a period of up to 10 weeks at a time of war has made the application process virtually impossible. With the country under attack, with martial law declared, it will now be extremely difficult for anyone to leave the country. Tony, I want to acknowledge the work, the hard work done by the Department of Foreign Affairs in recent weeks in assisting Irish parents whose children were born surrogate mothers in the Ukraine. Consular teams worked through the night to ensure that those families could get home. The same support needs to be given to families seeking to bring their loved ones to safety in Ireland. I want to welcome that a, a waiver of visas for Ukraine citizens has now finally been announced by the Taoiseach in the last hour. Regrettably, this announcement has come very late. My question to Anishita is this. Is this waiver in place immediately as of now? What practical support will be given to families to help them get their loved ones to safety in Ireland? And will Ireland commission more flights from Katowice and Poland? Thanks. Um, uh, thanks, Stephanie. My understanding is that that waiver is in place as of today. Um, there are a small number of, of Irish citizens in Ukraine. We need to make sure that they can uh, leave if they choose to do so. And we also need to make sure uh, that their families uh, can get out if they need to do so. Um, and uh, there's ongoing engagement today involving uh, Minister Coveney and Minister McEntee uh, to make whatever arrangements are necessary uh, to uh, enable uh, the family members of Irish citizens uh, to leave Ukraine uh, if they need to do so in the coming period. Um, our ambassador and her team uh, are currently in safe locations in Kiev. The Department of Foreign Affairs will remain in close contact with them in line with its procedures on ensuring the security and safety of embassy personnel. The government is closely monitoring the situation in Ukraine with our EU partners and other international partners. In light of recent developments, the Department of Foreign Affairs is now advising all Irish citizens currently in Ukraine to shelter in a secure place. However, citizens should consider leaving Ukraine if they judge it safe to do so, depending on their location and prevailing circumstances. The Department of Foreign Affairs remains in direct contact with Irish citizens in Ukraine who have registered with the Embassy. Currently, there are about 70 Irish citizens in the country. And the safety of, and security of Irish citizens and their families uh, is uh, our priority. Uh, the capacity of our Embassy to provide consular assistance to citizens in the period ahead unfortunately may be extremely limited due to the security situation, but the Department will issue regular updates as the situation develops and anyone requiring consular assistance and support can contact the Department of Foreign Affairs headquarters. Thank you, Tonish. Deputy O'Callaghan. Tonish, I, I did ask you specifically about Ukrainian citizens living in Ireland hoping to get their family members here and what assistance would be given to them. During the pandemic, Ukrainian citizens in Ireland showed up for us. They kept our supermarkets open. They were working in frontline services in healthcare, working as care assistants, working as nurses. They were looking after our family members. They've been trying for the last few weeks to show, to be able to look after their family members and be able to get them here to take them into their homes. They haven't been assisted in terms of the bureaucratic processes. So will we be giving them practical support now to help them as well 
get their loved ones uh, to Ireland. That's specifically what I'm asking you. Thank you, Deputy. Uh, thanks. Um uh, thanks, Deputy. We have the benefit, and I agree with you, with the benefit of a Ukrainian community here in Ireland um, who are an important part of our country and have served us well, um, not just during the pandemic, uh, but also before. Um, and we're keen to make sure that uh, the family members of the Ukrainian citizens who settled here in Ireland uh, are also assisted um, to leave Ukraine if they need to do so. Um, it is going to be complicated. We have a very small mission on the ground in Kiev. Uh, our ambassador and staff um, are currently uh, in a safe location. Uh, so what we can do is relatively limited, um, but we do want to do it. Uh, and we'll make arrangements today to provide whatever, whatever practical assistance we can uh, to help the dependents of Ukrainian citizens here in Ireland um, to uh, uh, make sure that their family members are safe. And uh, you have my commitment in that regard. Thank you.